so we are going to see uh, what is exactly corona current waveform so if we consider a particular uh, line which is energized and no corona is present in the line and the supply is of purely sinusoidal wave and purely capacitive you know that in case of capacitive circuit uh, current leads to the voltage by 90 degree right so let us suppose line is energized and no corona is present so how to show it if we consider this voltage as a reference the current will lead to the voltage by 90 degree right so this will be the current waveform let us say suppose magnitude is lesser than the voltage this is ic this one is voltage so if we consider there is no corona this will be the voltage and current waveform second if uh, let us say suppose there is a corona present and uh, there is a loss component the total current waveform is like this this is voltage waveform and see generally as i told you it should be uh, current in case of there is no corona but due to corona this current it becomes like this as you know that there are uh, production of harmonics in this case so it will be in multiple of fundamental frequency right so this is in case of corona so if we are going to come uh, uh, separate the component of uh, these two fundamental components the resulting in phase component it has a waveform means if we are going to separate out these and the resultant waveform of current it is not purely sinusoidal uh, and uh, it can be shown as let us say if we are going to separate out these two components this one and this one the resultant will be like this okay so these are the uh, corona current waveforms in case of corona so it is still uh, we can say that uh, it is having power frequency <coughs> only the fundamental component of uh, that current it is having distorted nature and uh, this current due to the distor distorted nature it causes the power loss now uh, let us move towards next point which is already we have discussed that is corona inception voltage and uh, corona inception gradient so what is corona inception voltage it is nothing but the lowest voltage at which continuous corona first occurs as the applied voltage gradually increases so it may be asked in exam what is nothing but the lowest voltage you can also note it down or you can refer the notes afterward see it is nothing but the lowest voltage at which continuous corona first occur
And this increase, it should be uh, beyond the voltage or uh, breakdown voltage. <clears throat> Now, second is nothing but the corona inception gradient. Are you getting or not? Yes. OK, so what is corona inception gradient? The gradient on that part of the uh, electric surface at which the continuous corona first occurs as the applied voltage is gradually increased means there is a gradual increase in applied voltage it will cause the production of corona now uh, let us talk about corona loss in transmission line so what is exactly corona loss can anyone please miss how how we can define exactly corona loss anyone is what should be the formula? What is power loss formula? Anyone? Okay, present like So basically we can say, uh, see, corona is nothing but the power loss <clears throat> and uh, it is nothing but the product of corona voltage multiplied by corona current. So if you consider corona loss, it is nothing but the, let us suppose, suppose V0 is nothing but the corona voltage, which is uh, obviously it is greater than the critical voltage and I0 is nothing but the corona hole. Uh, corona current so we can define power loss p as a v0 into i0 and the energy loss <coughs> let us denote it by w it is nothing but the integration of this power and it is in joules <coughs> so corona exactly uh, we can say power loss it is specially uh, in transmission system and uh, even a small percentage of total losses are accountable for corona. And uh, the significance of this corona loss increases according to the fall weather conditions. So there are definitely uh, two factors on which this power uh, loss depends. One is nothing but the voltage, uh, or we can say voltage of transmission line system. And uh, second is nothing but the whether that uh, voltage uh, sorry weather condition it depends on the weather conditions so uh, there are different scientists uh, those who have explained the power loss formula for corona and uh, we are going to see the formulas for that uh, power loss so first one is a peaks formula you just need to mug up it because the derivation i think it is in uh, it is covered in power system. So if we consider the clean uh, dry weather with power frequency voltage applied to the conductor, corona loss is expressed express as a quadratic equation. The, according to peak, this formula, P, it is equal to C into phi minus phi C whole square. You can write it down. And uh, later on, it is uh, modified as, it can also be modified as, file solving numerical we require this so just write note it down so further uh, x modified this formula it as a p is equal to 241 divided by delta into f plus 2s r upon d note it down to v minus v c square to 10 raised to minus 5 it is in kilowatt per kilometer where this p is nothing but the power corona loss <coughs> it is in kilowatt per kilometer in general it is in fair weather condition
capital V. This V is nothing but the phase to neutral conductor voltage. And it is in RMS value. It is having RMS value. Next is a VC. VC is nothing but the corona uh, critical corona starting voltage. And it is also in it is also having phase value. So it is critical. F is not about the frequency of system. C, it is not about the constant. D, conductor spacing. This D, you know that uh, the spacing between two adjacent conductor 0 0.8 is nothing but the multiplying factor for bad weather. And finally, this small r is nothing but the conductor radius. Okay, so just you have to remember this formula uh, to solve numericals, and uh, you need to write it down also. Again, so this is nothing but the peaks formula, and the second formula it is defined by Peterson's formula for power loss, which we are going to use for the second is nothing but the. So this is also defined for fair weather condition and uh, corona loss for single circuit, single phase line. It can also be derived as P is equal to 0 0.2106 noted down into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by log to the best 10. D upon R, D is nothing but the uh, distance between two conductor and R is nothing but the radius square into small f, P square into F. And further, it can also be written as C instead of 0 0.2106, it is written as 21.06 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by log to the best 10 D upon R whole square into F V square into capital F. This is small and this one is capital, it is in kilowatt per kilometer. Capital P is nothing but the power loss due to corona. Small f is nothing but the power frequency in hertz. V is nothing but the applied voltage in RMS, applied phase voltage, you can say.
Okay, this F is nothing but the corona factor, and uh, it is nothing but the function of the ratio of C upon B. So you can say corona. And uh, generally, this factor is determined by test. Means if we are going to find out the some result, so these are the test result. According to that test result, the factors. As it is depends on p upon v zero, it is equal to. So you can say that it is already defined. Okay, so these are the two formulas which we are going to use to calculate the Carnot laws. One is a Fick's formula, and one is a Peterson's formula. 